Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Lord Forward, here in Europa Universalis 4, playing as the Papal State, or better known as the Pope. We are currently involved in a massive war. Poland decided to attack Hungary, who, oddly enough, is part of the HRE. And this war has resulted in us being called to aid Poland. And so it's essentially Poland and me versus, and Bosnia versus the HRE because Montferrat is my vassal. So we are currently trying to... Oops, we're actually fine there. Um, never mind. Uh, we have just hit the Age of Reformation. Um, I don't know if that's actually going to matter at all to us, because we actually don't qualify for any of the uh, uh, Splendor stuff at the moment. Oh. That's nice. We are currently trying to take the Austrian capital, though, in the hopes that will force them out of the war. We also have hired one of the French armies to aid us, although France is going to conquer Corsica. Huh. And for once, has actually successfully launched a naval invasion. Although, to be entirely fair, they did call Spain into the war. Oh, Spain attacked Corsica and called France into the war. Literally just versus Corsica, they felt the need to call in France. Ay ay ay. Okay, well this little French army we have scurrying around the map is a drain on our resources, but is certainly helping. Let's please take Austria's capital. Bohemia wants peace, Dismarchin wants peace. To be entirely honest, I'm not sure why none of them have peaced out of the war. Maybe it's because no forts have really been occupied yet. Oh, we lost a general. But I guess he wasn't leading one of our armies anyway. Uh, let's snag that diplomatic tech. Yeah, we're hitting unbalanced research now, sadly. There we are. Austria's capital has fallen. Oh, wait, hey, we got Tyrol. Nice. We now have a gold mine. Yes. We also now have even more likely that a coalition's actually going to attack us, too. So that may or may not have been a good thing. Um, fort defense, because Tyrol is one of the best little fort areas. Of course, we're going to eventually have like unlawful territory and everything against us. Uh, Denmark's opinion. Okay, let's work on Denmark a little bit then. I don't know if I'm ever going to get high on them though, because... Yeah, I'm never going to hit 100. Let's give up on that mission then. We're never going to hit that higher level. Oh, we're actually still at war. Eh, I'm an idiot. For some reason I thought the departure of Austria meant the war was over. And that army's going to get into some trouble. Actually, that army's going to do fine. Or was doing fine. Whoa. I was not expecting that to get that as big of a mess as it did. We're going to win. Oh no, we're actually going to lose. They must have thrown every single troop, yeah, they had from the war into that fight. Um, now that we have a gold mine, although technically right now we're not making any money, I'm going to actually wait to get the next idea group and take that inflation reduction. I have a feeling they will definitely need it. We have some nasty war exhaustion at the moment, too. But I don't know if we're going to actually need to contribute anything else to the war. It's pretty well over. 
I might just leave all my troops down here. Plus, I have my vassals scurrying around the map doing stuff. There we go. Bohemia gave land to Poland. Yeah, I know. We've got a large coalition growing. Spain took Corsica, which is good. Let's make them a little bit more loyal. I'm kind of looking forward to the amount of favors I should be getting from Poland for assisting in this war. Our little uh, French mercenary regiment keeps getting a little bit beat up. I'm just wanting to know how long this war is going to drag on for, because Poland's over here sieging Cologne, I think, at a different war? Nope, same war. They should leave very soon, then. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get 100 <laughs> relations with Switzerland at this point. They hate my guts. Um, let's go kick these guys out of Avignon. Actually, we don't have to. They fled on their own. Um, yeah, let's not accept the peasants' demands here. Let's deny the petition and wipe them out. I love how if you don't take the event, they don't fire, so you can move troops into the province safely. That's such an easy little tactic to remember. Um, let's actually... Cancel our condotterati from France. We're doing pretty well without it. Although it did provide some needed troops at the beginning. Plus now that coalition is getting quite large. Oh, Milan just left though. That's convenient. When will the Palantate, Osberg, and Dismarchen leave, though? I also want to... Oh, there we go. War is over. Good. Perfect. Let us snag the Kingdom of God event, then. And also do this manpower recovery. dun da da Disable the Papacy. Cool. Um, so I don't actually know what that actually does for us, to be honest. No, it doesn't do much. just gives us prestige, devotion, and manpower. Well, I guess it was a good idea I didn't bother going religious, because I'm all set there. Disables the papacy. That's fine. You'd think I'd get some of the, like, bonuses of owning the papacy, but I guess not. I guess I just have claims on Italy now, right? Yeah, I have permanent claims on all of Italy. Do I have claims anywhere else? Uh, nope, just all of Italy, literally. Including the Spanish provinces. Well, that's nice. I wasn't expecting it to disable the papacy, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, and Jesuits may or may not have just occurred. I'm not going to give you territory palantate or return it. Sorry, but no dice. Besides, I want a gold mine province. Who wouldn't want the gold mine province? The only thing I really have to do is uh, try to let these coalitions expire a little bit. I probably should take this influence idea just so I can get the reduced aggressive expansion. Because it's looking like the HRE is finished. Poland, France, and I are just eating away at it. Yeah, there's the amount of hostile controlled provinces. Yeah, 15. 
There's no way they're going to get away with continuing that. On the other hand, the Ottoman now, the Ottomans now want my land. Hmm. Let's boost Poland's opinion of me. Might as well see, can I get Siena yet? No, ways to go. Ways to go for sure. Um, let's just use this and put it on allies, make sure they're all friendly with me. <laughs> Did I literally just get another fortified? No, it's just a short defense. Okay. 94 fort defense in that province though. Who is breaking their alliance? Siena. Well, if they do break it, I'm just going to go kill them once this truce is over. There's no reason not to. To be honest, I want to go kill Milan already, but I don't know if I want to face the wrath of even a larger coalition. Although, to be fair, I don't know if that aggressive expansion is ever going to go away. I could probably threaten Milan if I really wanted land, but I think I'll wait for now. I'll wait. I'll wait and try and tech up a bit. Actually, can I annex Montferrat yet? Oh, I can. So let us go and start on that. Okay. Improve relations. It's a shame I don't have like a really good vassal. Like if I had Savoy, I would literally just make them into a march and give them like these four provinces: Milan, Cuneo, Nice, and Piedmont, and just let them defend that. But. That's too good land to give to them. Let's just leave there. There's no supply. Actually, why is there no supply there? Oh. Slight bit odd. Well, I boosted it a little bit. Um, what do we, oh yeah, is this my entire mercenary army? No, just mostly mercenaries. Um, do we really need that edict? Yes, I think we do for the time being. Oh, it's a stupid pirate. Okay, new Pope. Architectural Visionary. That's nice, except I don't actually see where I want to do much with it, but... I technically could do a state maintenance thing, right? What's the maintenance of my capital? Pretty low. Maintenance of Lombardy is high right now, because I've got the edicts. I don't really have anywhere to build stuff. I've already built up these regions. Too high, in fact. Well, I guess we'll just accumulate money for a while. Yeah, we're making 18 for trade. Yeah, we control the majority of this trade node. Um, maybe that's something else to consider. Maybe rather than going influence, we go trade. Although, to be fair now, we control Genoa as well. France, again. Why attack the HRE? Luckily, 
The Palantate does not appear to be allied to Austria. But it is allied to Bohemia. I don't think I'm going to really send any troops. If France wants this war, they should be able to win it on their own. And they will be able to. Reformation. Okay. The Reformed Faith has now appeared in Met. Better known, as, better known as part of Lorraine. <coughs> yeah, I don't appear to be necessary in this war. Please tell me this is spread somewhere else. No, it's literally not spreading outside of England. I'm going to have to develop it on my own, aren't I? I'm going to have to develop it on my own. Sheesh. Luckily in three years the printing press fires and we're... Not in a bad position to take advantage of that. Oh, just for overkill, Spain joined the war. Didn't see that, but... Yeah, France is... This is France's golden period. Although, to be fair, they didn't go golden age yet, which was smart of them. Um, we gonna hit the theocracy here? Yep. Now, hmm, this is a good question. I think for the moment I'll pass the Declaration of Indulgence. That way, if I do end up with a Protestant province, that's one less unrest I have to deal with. On the other hand, maybe later on I'll want to snag the... What is this? Convent, Conventicle Act? Which will give us missionary strength as well. If we end up getting Protestant provinces. But now the real question is, do I do influence? Or do I do something like trade and just uh, dominate in terms of gold? I think influence would be better. I mean, I don't... See, the problem is these two ideas are completely useless for me. Completely. Income from vassals and new air, because I'm not going to get a lot of either. Annexation cost, eh. Aggressive expansion, eh. Diplomatic reputation, eh. Diplomatic relations could be handy. Unjustified demands, yes. On the other hand, I could go diplomatic and get decreased province war score cost. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, the reduced aggressive in expansion impact would be useful. Let's see if we've got any modifiers about that currently. Oh, we're Curia controller and the prestige. Yeah, we're going to take that. Even if it's the only good idea in the whole mess. We're going to go for that because that would give us 50 reduced aggressive expansion. Plus, I believe we actually have... Yep, we get 5% off tech cost now because we're the Curia permanent controller. Although, I do not believe we can excommunicate people. Yeah, we can't do that. Otherwise, I just get excommunicating Austria here. Because I kind of really want their lands. Besides, I have to take this land or the Ottomans will take it. <laughs> Look at how we only get 10% of vassal income because we're not a monarchy. That's the sh that's a shame. Not only that, but complete over. Matt, oh, 
I guess I didn't uh, take Genoa there. I didn't realize they were in the war, to be honest. Um, oh. Uh, yeah, I'll take that province. Do I have a high enough? Yeah, I'm not going to get a war score here unless I deploy troops. Okay, let's deploy some troops. I'll happily take at least one province. Okay, can we get to their capital? Yes, for some reason we can get to their capital, even though that fort should technically have blocked us. Hmm. Way ahead in tech there, so let's work on that. Gets us a little bit more money, not that we need money. Milan is in the coalition. Okay, um... Let's do this level 3 admin advisor. That would be pretty useful. Uh, level 2 military. Yeah. We should be in great shape. Having being Curia controller now is just very powerful. Okay. Oh shoot! Are we gonna win that? Actually, we're gonna win that fight. No, no, we're not. Shoot! Oh, and it's gonna get stack wiped. Oh my! Oh, I don't know why I could get to that province and then I couldn't leave. That is ridiculous. Okay. And let's do 10. How much is that? 700. How many troops could I raise anyway? About as much as I set up there. Okay. That sucked. There's no way around that. That was ridiculous. You guys all saw that, right? I could, for some reason, path to there, but then I couldn't retreat. I don't understand why. It's got to be something like I was sieging the other fort and that thus I was able to get around it. I don't know. Well, we lost one of our big armies, but we're going to recover pretty quickly. Okay, Bohemia pieced out. Siena pieced out, but they don't want to be a vassal. Well, maybe they do. Um, I could potentially vassalize them? Mm, I don't know if I could, actually. I had a mission to do so. Oh yeah, we also get a free diplomat now because we're Popple Controller. I should have seen that earlier. Uh, we'll take a fort maintenance hit for the moment. Let's raise this army I, been, I wanted to. We're going to be massively over limit though. Hmm. Uh, let's cancel some of our basic infantry then. And there we go. That should even things up a bit. Still going to be a lot of money. Lots and lots and lots and lots of money. There we go. Thriving arms in, um, stuff though, that's nice. Arrival of Arrival still wants me to be friends with Denmark. Huh, that's kind of funny. Because Denmark hates me. Okay, coalition is collapsing to some degree. Oh, they converted to a roll. That's going to be a pain. I have to wait 30 years to get it back. Ugh. How annoying. Worst reformed. 
be fair though, I'm surprised Switzerland hasn't converted to reformed. Usually they do that. They're usually one of the first nations to convert. Actually, half the time it usually starts in Switzerland. Um, another claim. I think I'll just go to this war ends and then I'll end this video. Ah, oh, printing press. Actually, we got some printing press in our capital and Venice, oddly enough. Maybe they were high enough development. But then why didn't I get it in Milan? Huh. Colonialism is still not spreading outside of England. Ugh. Although, actually, it looks like England's trying to conquer somebody. Scotland. Yeah, it figures. Printing press actually fired in Berlin. Okay. I'm going to obviously have to wait till it pops in Rome. Yeah, it's going to take a while. France has almost completely killed every small nation on the Western HRE. Um, yeah, we'll revoke the claim. I don't think it actually revokes the claim. Yeah. Oh, it does. Oh. I've got to avoid doing that. I didn't know you could actually revoke a permanent claim. That's actually kind of alarming that I didn't know that. You think after all these hours and hours of playing Europa, I would know that, but... Oh yeah, Cyprus. Yeah, you're not going to easily piece out Cyprus. Actually, I don't know if they are going to be able to piece out Cyprus. Cyprus may uh, prevent Treyer from dying. At least for a little while. At some point, they'll get annoyed. France or Treyer will completely surrender and then they'll be able to take their land. Palantate is definitely going to stay as emperor, though. Austria comparably is weak. If I get printing press, I would be ranked as the seventh power. Okay. Or uh, colonialism. We got some favors out of that war. technically do a mission to wipe these guys out but don't want to do that don't want to actually any of those missions okay i'll end it here uh thank you guys all for watching uh we'll continue this next time as we kind of i think we're still waiting on the coalition a little bit yeah there's a couple coalition members uh once those end i think i'll probably kill milan although i don't know if milan will ever leave the coalition so i may have to fight wurtenberg and milan and uh, with that, we sh will control all of northern Italy except for Siena and the last Genoa province. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.